what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. And in today's video, you guys have been asking for this one quite a bit recently, so here it is. Let's talk relics. First up, what are relics and how do you get them? Well, relics come in two main forms, weapons and armor. And you obtain them either from expeditions or more reliably from guild quests. The items are, more often than not, variations of existing items you can get, but they usually have an alternate skin or colouring to them. However, there's more to it than just appearances. They also have randomised stats and sometimes, if you're lucky, stats that are far better than those you'd obtain if you'd crafted that same weapon or piece of armour. Sometimes there isn't a craftable equivalent and in these cases it's simply your opportunity to get items you couldn't otherwise obtain in the game. Either way, whatever your reason, the stats on the items you obtain also depend heavily on the level of the monster in the quest. In other words, if you complete a low rank guild quest and obtain a relic weapon or a piece of armour, the stats won't be as good as if you obtain the same item from a higher level version of the same quest. Luckily, guild quests can be leveled. So if you have one that drops a weapon or piece of armour that you are after, then simply completing the quest will level it up. Obviously if it is a super low level, then you'll need to complete it quite a few times to get it to where you want it to be. Realistically, guild quests give the best items when they are around level 136 to 140, so while it may take you some time to level it up, in the long run it's worth it. Either way, once you have it where you want it, upon completing the guild quest or being super lucky gathering in an expedition, you have a chance of receiving a relic item at the end of the quest. However, when you obtain them, you cannot immediately equip or use them. See, relics need to be polished and then upgraded. And in order to do that, you need to go to Hearth and speak to the Rust Abolisher down here. He has four options. Polish, Upgrade, Trade and Decorations. When you first get a relic, you need to polish it so that it goes from being rusted to clean. After that, you then upgrade it, just like you would any other piece of armour, with armour spheres. Different items, depending on rarity, will have different caps. So as mentioned, for the best items, farm them from the G-Rank highly leveled quests. You can also trade polished relics for caravan points in the event that you're running low because you will need caravan points to perform the upgrades on the relic items. And then lastly, when you want to gem them or put decorations in them, then you have the decorations option. So, now you know what they are and how you get them, the next, more important question is how do you get what you actually want? See, while the chance of a relic dropping is still random, it's random within a predetermined set, meaning you can determine what you will get from a particular guild quest before you embark on it. If you take a look at one of your guild quests, you will see at the bottom it has what is known as an equipment bias. This is what you can hope to receive from that given quest. For example, this one here, where I need to hunt two Devil Joes, has a weapon bias of Switch Axe, Charge Blade and Insect Glaive, and an armor bias of Freedom Series B Head. Meaning that upon completing the quest, the weapons and armor that will drop will fall within those categories. But there's more. See, now that we know that, we can further find out exactly what will drop. But for that, you need to head over to the Monster Hunter Wiki. I'll leave links to both the weapon and armor relic pages in the description box down below. But for example, let's take Switch Axe for a change seeing as it was in the Equipment Bias list. If you look at the charts on the wiki, we have a chance of getting a relic variant of the Deluge Switch Axe. And here are some of the skins that it will come with. And you can do the same for armor. Simply match up the bias with the table and you can calculate your output. Unfortunately, the armor tables aren't quite as extensive, but I'll link them anyway. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. That is a quick look at relics, what they are, how you get them, and why you want them. Hopefully you found this helpful, hopefully it's cleared up any questions you had, but as always, if you do have any other questions, then let me know in the comments down below, and I will do my best to answer them. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.